Right, I'm going to do a quick demo today of um, putting Fablon on the back. It's the way I do it, it's not the way it's shown, been shown to me, but I was shown it by somebody else, so I'll show you the way I do it. And, um, I usually measure about an inch or one square on this because it's squared off, yours might not be, I don't know what, what type you've got, but this is about 10 quid a roll this and it does quite a few books, I don't know how many but I've still got quite a lot left and I've done quite a few books so anyway I'm going to cut off and leave an inch all the way around and then I'm using my alpha knife to cut with. And I usually do two at a time. I know how many of these are now anyway. They're 12. They're 12 by about 15, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17. 12 by 17. As an average figure. So. I'll just cut this little bit off here because this will do for my next one save me getting the roll out again because I've got another one to do so I might as well cut this off while I'm here and uh, I'm usually very careful with this because any wrinkles or crinkles or heavy damage to the edges and things renders it pretty useless and uh, it's tending to be quite thin this Fablon now it's gone not as, it's not as thick as the other roll that I bought originally which was a long time ago but uh, um, I've got over that I had a bit I just put this out of the way I was a bit disappointed in some of the results that I had and um, it wasn't sticking very well but now I'll show you how I do it to make it stick properly and um, what I do I make sure that there's no dust or lumps or anything on your surface because they will show they will come up on your thing when you stick down so I should wipe this off properly first but uh, I've been sticking so I know that there's nothing underneath and this is the way I do it it's not necessarily the best way it's just the way that I do it so what I do is I this is the hardest bit now is getting the Getting the corners to start on the corners. And be a bit confident with it and uh, it'll play into your hands if you are, if you don't bother too much. And just pull pull the white bit you're gonna throw away out for that first inch. And then hold it over and press it in. If you do this before you actually pull the fablon away from the, the backing, it will leave a mark on the, on the fablon and you won't get it off. I found that out. Then what you do is you lay the front end on with an inch either side and a little bit hanging over. Place it down and a bit of confidence, press it down. And there you've got your start. So that's the start. And underneath you'll see that I've got a little lip. And this is ready to be pulled onto the surface of the thing. But before you do that, they do say use a steel roller, but uh, through using these a lot and doing things, I've got a, a plastic soft plastic ruler and these tend to work better they tend to to do um, the job better for some reason I don't know the, the steel ones I, I was left with bubbles in but not with this one and what you do is you put it behind where the start is and then you put your hand in and as you pull you press along I'm trying to show you this hand Not 
you press down with a ruler and follow it along as you pull the fablon along. And then press down quickly and you'll find it's lump free. Don't worry about it sticking to the surface of the board. In fact I'm going to enhance that by applying a bit of pressure all the way around. Just do it on the edges because otherwise it leaves marks in the middle of the paper and the weight of your hand will do for the rest of it. But I've been doing this for a while now and I found that when you do this on the edges like so it, um, it makes the adhesive stick to the card and this is only 160 GSM card this with uh, it's been through my bubble jet printer and I've put a special thing on associated with the book that I'm going to put it on to Make sure you've got no bumps because they won't come off. Once they're raised you will not get them off. And what I do is the edge first, the shortest edge with a steel roller and cut through and remove the sticky tape. Discard it and the same on the other side. as careful as you can. Mind you these edges get cut off anyway so there's no real great thing but they will stick all over the place if you leave too much hanging on. I don't know if anybody else does it this way I'm not too sure. I find it's pretty foolproof this though it's um, I have had mistakes and accidents but uh, they're fewer and far between than if you do it any other way. Let's get myself a new ruler. This one's got a bow in the middle. It's a bit of a nuisance when you're not thinking. It moves around a little bit but anyway. Last one coming up. And there we are. There she is. Perfectly done. No mess. And I'd already preformed it inside and put the um, scored it inside. I used the edge of the knife. I've got a little uh, knife in it, just just what I want, and um, it scores it. And I I can put that on the back of the book when I'm ready. And there's no bumps, lumps, or anything in that. And it's ready for sticking on my new book. And the books are, the book I'm going to stick it onto is this one, which is ready. And it's going to go on like so. Move my camera a little bit. There you can see I've just placed it on but you can see how it's going to go and I've done one up here that's one I'm going to stick that one yet and here's one I've already stuck up tanks and trenches and all these books come from the internet all the books come from the internet all the 
storage and everything come from Gutenberg. And what I'm nearly finishing is the Anglo-Saxons. I've got to cut the edges with my guillotine because it's it's quite a nice size to cut with my guillotine. So nice edge on the back. And um, the other thing that I've done is oh yeah, there's there's a sheet that hasn't got the problem on yet with the back which I've got to stick in and that one hasn't been scored yet so that's a few jobs you've got to do and um, I've got to do that one I'll move that one out of the way and the ones I've got to do which I'm gonna I think I'll probably have to make into books are these two and uh, this one is a diary which my daughter wanted to make for a mother-in-law and uh, you can see that the backs I've got a special little stitch that I put in for strength because these I normally do four sheets for a signature which gives you 16 pages well these are eight sheets with 32 pages and it's rather a heavy thing and I wasn't quite sure whether it would work but I've done one before and it seemed to work okay uh, because they're in months so I've done them in months so they come out as months because I wanted them to go from 1 to 30 or 1 to 31 uh, inside as you can see there and uh, this is the diary I made for well it's in the process. Wendy's going to get the, the backings that she wants to put on and I haven't glued it or anything but this one is going to be, have to be rounded and, and backed. It's going to be made into a, a professional uh, type of book and the other ones are what they call um, um, well it, a perfect bind but it's not a perfect bind but it, it's, it's good enough for me. I don't get any complaints and it's not the back end is not too bad as you can see there so and I've got to cut that one and this one is the one that this is another one I'm gonna to have to make into a book because it's too thick for me it's the uh, waddle twaddle from waddle and it's uh, a bit von daniken -ish, this one it's a bit uh, a bit outlandish. I don't know how much truth there is in it, but I'll read it uh, with a pinch of salt, and we'll see what uh, what gives. So that's what I've got to do, and um, this one I'm going to make into. Uh, it's going to have a slip case, and it's going to have a. It's going to have a slip case, and it's going to have um, a box to go in drop inch box and I'll do the best on that one make a good job of that one and I'll say, as I said I've got Robert the Bruce to do so I shall stop there and uh, I've sent the other box off to my friend he's got all them and um, other little bits and pieces so yeah, I'll stop there anyway.